Yeah, this is one of the largest events we do. We do it in the chili cook-off, so it's, it's extremely important. My grandparents were sharecroppers from Bamberg County, and we thought it'd be nice for a lot of the children to understand what the sharecropping process was. This type of cotton, which is a uh, short strip of cotton, this cotton that's growing up in the upstate and up around the Midlands, but also talk to them a little bit about the Sea Island cotton that once existed on the coast and on the islands of South Carolina that no longer exists. And we talked about other processes that uh, took place on the farms, like butchering hogs, ringing chicken necks, and so forth. <laughs> a lot of things that the children are unfamiliar with. Kids right now, today, different. They are pretty much engaged a lot in technology and not familiar with a lot of the hands-on thing that we had to do, you know, really just to survive back when I was growing up. I started when I was a kid. I started when I was about 10 years old. I grew up on an old pottery plantation and uh, used to have a lot of shard piles out there. They didn't have waste management. So if they made a piece of pottery that didn't wasn't gonna be sellable, they would just throw it out the back door. And uh, eventually it made mounds and mounds and mounds of these pottery shards. So I'd go around finding letters and numbers and fingerprints and all kinds of things. I just love that and decided to keep on doing it. I've had people ask me where my computer is because I, I print it out in a 3D printer. I'm like, no, no, this is my printer. This is the wheel and this is how we decorate it. And uh, everybody from kids to adults really, if they haven't seen this before, it really fills in a blank spot and, and this, this type of area. I demonstrate coopering as it was done in the late 1700s, what we call the 18th century. Cooper was a very important part of the community. The type of containers I make are used around the home or the farmstead. I make buckets, butter churns, tankards, and also wash tubs. A cooper would make wood spoons, wood plates, anything that you would use around the kitchen, around the home or farm. So this is my 22nd year. I started out making a very primitive bucket and over the years I've read and learned about coopering and how coopers made their various containers throughout the ages, starting back about 2400 BC uh, coming up to the present. In the period, a cooper would make five or six buckets a day. It was piecework. So they worked very fast. I'm sure they made a quality product, but it might have been a little rougher than what I make today. That's a 1968 Volkswagen Transporter. And they're actually, it, it is an original Volkswagen. Some people think it's a bus that's been cut off, but they actually made these, the sides fold down. But it's a Type 2 Transporter Pickup is the official name. 